Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I hope so. You know, guys did play a little harder, a little better. Uh, communication was a little better defensively. So uh, we definitely you know, took some steps in the right direction. But uh, whether that continues to grow is totally up to them. But uh, we, we, we did have a good practice yesterday. I hope we have a good one today. And, and tough one tomorrow night. We'll see where we're at. What, what we saw at Arizona, what you saw at practice previously in that week? When you at were... times, yeah, no, it, it, uh, our guys really prepared last week. They were really disappointed in themselves and got together and we had some leadership from, from the guys. They did a tremendous job getting themselves ready. And even though we didn't play great, you know, we played hard you know, and played better. And uh, so that's, that's encouraging. I think it was after that Oregon State game, you, you made the comment that you felt like the guys weren't listening to you. Has that changed? Well, I, I didn't I don't know if I said that. I'm not sure uh, what I said. You know, I, obviously the message and the communication between the coaching staff and the guys, um, you know, I, for those of you who are parents, you know, I hope your children are listening to you, but you never know for sure. There's, there's communication gap. You know, I think everybody can relate to that. And, you know, we weren't on the same page. I'm not sure we still are, you know, but we know as coaches that there are certain things that have to be done for us to be successful. And uh, the closer we get to those things, you know, I, I think the better we can become as a team. And uh, I thought we took a step. Now, whether we take, you know, another step, you know, remains to be seen. But uh, we've got a stretch here where we've got to continue to get better. It's early in January, mid-January. We just we got to get better. Peyton, I think, sat out two or three minutes the whole weekend. Is that kind of what you're going to need out of him moving forward every every week? Peyton had a good weekend. That's uh, what we had hoped to see early, right? Um, you know, he'd been a little up and down, been a little inconsistent. I think he'd admit to that. But uh, I, I really liked the way he led the team last weekend, both offensively and defensively. And that's, job of any guard is to get us in something offensively and set the tone defensively and I thought he did a great job of doing that. Schedule flips three at a week four now at home and two teams ahead of you in the standings and coming in here kind of adds a little bit to as well. Yeah no it's uh, it's an important stretch for us I mean, I, I mean when you have 18 conference games they're all important but uh, you know the home games you know to do well in the league you got to win at home. And uh, that's always been the formula. Uh, and so, from the top 50 RPI. Yeah, in. yeah, no, that's that's part of it too. I think in both, ca both cases this season, you've got Arizona and LA schools in back to back weekends. How much of a challenge is that to have that kind of a cluster? You know, it is, it's fine. You know, I mean, that's what you play college basketball for to, to try to play, you know, four top 50 teams. You know, that's, that's what conference basketball is, and that's where our conference needs to be. You know, I'm a little disappointed we're not part higher up, but we blew our chances early, so now we got to make up for them here late. How is Mikhail developed? And how important is he right now to the team? Man, he he had a great weekend. I uh, just his effort and toughness, um, leadership. He just he really played well. So um, I, he's really important to the team just because of his physical nature and. Uh, you know, if he can continue to, to play as hard, even if he doesn't play quite as well, if he can continue to play as hard as he did and set the tone for us, I think it really helps. What do you mean by leadership exactly? Are you talking about well, he verbal just, or are you talking about? Both. I thought he, you know, verbally was more, you know, active, but obviously on the floor, you know, he, he set a great tone for us. Laughlin seems like with his assist to turnover and his three point shooting, he's kind of got them up among his conference leaders in both those things. Man, he's been really good. He's been really good. He um, handling the ball, their ball movements very good. Uh, he's, he's just a really good player, very experienced. You know, it's you know we ran into experienced guards against Arizona State, and, and now his experience, their whole team. You know, they've, they've been together now. Matu, Boat, right? Guys have been together for a while, and um, you know because of that, they're you know, really solid. Their base can go inside and outside. I mean, Matu's taking some threes this year, and the boat right, obviously. Yeah, no, boat right. You know, really, really, I think he's taking the most threes in conference play, maybe for the year for him. He's, he's uh, going to take threes, and you 
know, Matu, you know, he's just unbelievable athlete. You know, just uh, those are two really good players, two players that we sure recruited and sure wanted. You know, those are you know, both both really good players. Just along those lines, what kind of concerns you about USC when you watch their film? What doesn't concern me? Uh, their athleticism, you know, jumps off you, at you right away. I mean, just Matu and, you know, their wing, Stewart, you know, just really athletic, long. Uh, their activity defensively is very good. Uh, they're sharing the ball. They, they really moved it against Utah. I mean, they hit Utah with the barrage of threes, hit 14 threes. So, uh, no, they're, they're playing better now. They, they struggled a little bit early there for a while just uh, with some injuries and trying to figure things out. But uh, they seem to have the rotation down now. And, uh, you know, like I said, with all that experience, those guys are, you know, their starting fives all been there, you know, and uh, guys bringing off the bench, you know, been around. So. Uh, very talented, very experienced group. You guys are among the best in the conference at defending the three. Do you feel like that, that fits well for this matchup with USC? You know, I, our, our defense on the three at times is good. At other times, you know, it's because we're hugged up too much. You know, we just kind of one of those things where, you know, we keep going over and over and on film where we, we've got to find that balance of, of help, recovers, and you know, off ball two man and, and hugged up on some shooters. So it's not an exact science. At times we've done a good job, other times, just quite honest, we haven't. So uh, it's a work in progress, but um, we got to continue to contest threes because they're coming off a game, like I said, they went 14 for 28 and, and shot it very well. So it's, it's going to be an important factor in the game. When you look at the box score, it, it appears Troy Brown's in a bit of a funk. Is he doing stuff maybe that's not showing up in the box score? Or is he in a little bit of a stuff? Yeah, you know, all our freshmen, you know, just didn't didn't make the jump last weekend. You know, our vets finally, you know, gave us some leadership and did some good things. But, you know, our freshmen struggled a little bit. Uh, foul trouble, I think, affected both him and Kenny. You know, you get those two quick fouls against Arizona State, you know, it just takes you out of the game. And so, you know, some of it's foul trouble, some of it was, you know, just not being short. Is this about as unpredictable as you've seen the Pac-12 in terms of trying to figure out who the best teams are? Yes and no. Um, you know, I, I still think from a, a talent standpoint, you know, uh, uh, Arizona and experience standpoint, Arizona State uh, are a little ahead and, and then experience and talent with USC and, and UCLA. I still think those are the four teams that, you know, are probably tops in the league and the rest of us are trying to catch them. You know, I, uh, and that's just basically going from because of their experience level and because of the blend of experience and talent. Uh, you, know, you look at those four teams, they're, they're all experienced. And, uh, you know, they've got a number of NBA prospects on, on all four of those teams. So I, I still think, you know, those are the four teams that we're all trying to catch. What did you think of the four signees you went and saw over the weekend? Did you have a chance to watch all four of them? Yeah, it was, it was a long trip, but, uh, you know, really encouraged. You know, they, they played hard. They played well. Um, you know, I think that... Uh, our fans and everything can be excited, but uh, you know, just you look across country and teams that are dominated by freshmen have trouble. You know, and it's still a, a seniors dominated. You know, you look at Villanova; they got all those players back, and that's you know, Michigan State. I'm a little surprised that Michigan State's lost stuff because of all the guys they got back. And, and I, I just think it's always important to have that experience. Um, but to answer your question, we had four very talented young men that I enjoyed watching, and they all played good. So it was a lot of fun, fun going back there. Going back to leadership, how did you see Elijah Brown kind of find a spot within the team? Well, I, I thought he shot it good, you know, and uh, I was disappointed in the technical. And I told him about that. You know, we we don't take much pride in getting technicals here. We don't really want to do that, and. Uh, you know, so, but I, I liked his enthusiasm. He's, he's practiced harder. He, he, that's reflected in the games. You know, he's played better. So um, it's going to be important for him to play well down the stretch. You know, he's, he's a very good shooter, and uh, he's trying to do everything we want defensively. So uh, 
I, I sure hope that uh, he can finish strong because I think that's really important for us. All righty, thank you.